everyone. <laughs> Welcome to my first ever live stream on Facebook. Um, I've never from done the field. From the field of wheat. Don't worry, I'm not really outside. I'm in the living room. It just looks like I'm in a field of wheat. She, she really is in the living room. I can prove it. Here we go, there we go. Hey, hi everyone. <laughs> hi, here's Terry. He's, he's the one who's masterminded all this. So um, I thought this evening I would do a gig of uh, mostly completely new songs that no one's ever heard me sing live before. Um, just because, uh, why not? And it would be fun for me as much as anything. So, However, because I am somewhat nervous, I'm going to start with something that I'm comfortable with. So it's um, I'm going to play Attention Seeker by Chevy Chase on my wife just to get us in the mood. <laughs> I also just want to make it clear that it's quite possible that there could be some video lag because we're using a wireless camera which has got a little bit of lag, so sorry about that. That could happen. This is the modern times. Um, cool. So this is uh, Attention Seeker. Start thinking of questions because Terry's going to shout them out after this one. I want to be inside of your heart I want to be in the front seat of your car I want to be the one on your mind I want to be the one who cuts the line clapping isn't it everyone said that but it is everyone. actually it's quite weird without the clapping i'm just imagining clapping so um cool any questions yet this is an ask me anything uh no, no. Uh, but uh several people said the screaming harmonies jamming along on bass says julie Yay! Uh, <laughs> i want you way too much says lisa sullivan oh uh, yeah i nearly sung both but then i was like i don't have two voice boxes <laughs> Okay, everyone's sort of saying that the volume is a little bit low, so I'm just going to oh. see if I can boost that a fraction. Yeah. And let's see if I can take that up a bit more. I didn't think about playing guitar when I put on this dress with these big sleeves. Mm. This wasn't very practical. No. <laughs> okay, now the weirdness begins, apart from the sleeve thing. So, my next song is... It's called The Bedouin Tent. 
So off an EP that I released ooh, like four years ago, maybe three or four years ago. And um, it's a song about being at a festival uh, that I went to a long time ago now actually, and uh, I was working in a tent called the Bedouin Tent, and it was just a magical time. And it's about people in your life that, what happened to those people? They didn't fall out, they just drifted away. They were. Okay, this is the Bedouin Tent. <laughs> Where have you been? I couldn't help but miss you Where have you been? We made a little promise I didn't know It had been so long So many years ago But I am starting To get the hang of it I no longer care what anyone thinks of it your letters you told me I I could do much better you were right all along but I tried my best to carry on and in the end you were right you were Is available on my band camp if you like that one. Right. Uh, one question uh-huh. from Sean Jeffrey. Yes. Um, Hi, Sean. Uh, is Theresa May going to appear behind you? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> that would be terrifying. We all hope not. Also, if she did, she'd be less than two meters away. So. Truth. Social distancing. I'd have to spray it with Dettol. <laughs> Which I think is the best policy in this instance. 
Cool. Uh, so, next song is T. Earl Grey Hot. Now, this is the geekiest song you're ever going to hear me sing. I love Star Trek. She really does. I admit it. So I wrote a song uh, a while ago just for fun, and I never thought that I'd actually be performing it to people, but this is the day when those songs get let out. This is the song I'm most nervous about because it's new. <laughs> okay, right. This is T.L. Greyhot. If he's worth having, you'll know what you mean when you say T. Earl Grey Hot. If he's worth having, you'll know what you mean when you say Bones is your family doctor. And if he doesn't know the way the solar winds blow, he ain't worth having, ain't worth having. Save your latinum, baby. If he's worth having, you'll know what you mean when you're a data and she's law. If you're worth keeping him, though, he should hide when there's distortion in your warp core. And if he doesn't know the trouble with his fluffy triple O, he ain't worth keeping, ain't worth wasting your pressure, surely for. If he is environment deflector, Align it with my transient dampening shield Increase the efficiency of your left nacelle By 26% If you use environment deflector Align it with my transient dampening shield Increase these just to see how you left us out by 26 percent. He'll know what you mean. He'll know what you mean. If he's worth having, he'll know what you mean when you say. I'll that, do the clapping. Thank you. That was T. Earl Grey Hot. That one is on my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. <laughs> um, yeah, but other than that, it only exists in my mind. Yes. Okay. Any questions? Yeah, we got a couple. <gasps> okay, ask me questions. Okay. Ask me anything. And, uh, Emily put this up uh, when you were singing the Bedouin Tent, and she yeah. said, uh, when did you write that song? The better intent. Oh, okay. So, the festival that I'm writing about happened in 2007. So I wrote the song probably like five years after that. So, yeah, 2012, I'm gonna say. Okay. But uh, it took a while to turn it into anything. I've never done a and Facebook Live no before. If it was me, I would have just like turned my phone on and that would have been it. Okay. So this next song is really unusual. This is a song called Projection that um, I wrote the lyrics and melody and um, a friend of mine that I met on a website called Join My Band a long time ago called Mark Weston uh, wrote the music and we did a few um, recordings together in the name of Atticus Joe and um, when I was looking for weird songs of mine to play tonight I thought this is a great song, I love this song so I'm going to sing it. So this is projection. I wasn't ready. Start again. Shall I start that again? Yeah. All right then. You ready? Yeah. I met a man today. I projected him onto you in that way that people sometimes do. I met a man today. Your teeth with an intelligence hidden beneath. Something's 
special love Chance projection loads of people were saying some very very nice things uh, thank you people saying nice things thank you for watching uh, no other major questions at this point so they don't have to be questions about me they can be like how do you make a pancake actually don't ask that I don't know <laughs> I'm the one that makes them <laughs> Dan from down the road says hey neighbour oh hey neighbour say hi to Neville for me Neville the Neville the tortoise, tortoise. Cool. How, what time is it, by the way? Uh, the time is uh, 23 minutes past seven. Oh, cool. What's next? Next is Goldilocks, but don't start it just yet. <laughs> sure. This one is for my dear, beloved friend and neighbour. I keep looking at the wrong place. Uh, Esther. She's only next door, but I can't see her. <laughs> so this is for Esther. It's from, I'm being followed by a statue. Oh, good one. This is my album, which I released on the 1st of March, 2019. It has nice pictures inside it. Uh, if you'd like to listen to it, it's on Spotify and all the streaming services. If you'd like to buy a copy of it, it's on Bandcamp. And you can buy that. As well as for you, which is my band CD. Well, you do actually have an official question. <gasps> What is it? <laughs> Lisa Sullivan says, what's the best way to get wax out of your ears? Ooh, well, there's two ways that I would do it. Either lie in the bath for a long time with your head under the water. <laughs> Not your face, though, just your ears. 
Well, we're not encouraging people to drown themselves. Yeah, lie in the bath and just put your ears in the water, you know, like this, until you feel a bubble go bloop out your ear. And that might work. Otherwise, get a close friend or neighbour <laughs> to get some little and gently tweak it out. That's my advice, but I'm not a doctor. <laughs> All medical disclaimers, we know nothing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I would do. Thank you for your question. Oh, we do have a question. Yeah. Anthony Janes. Hey, are you two ever going to do a duet together? <gasps> mm. Problem is, I don't quite come up to her calibre, so... You I'd, do? I just look like a knob. <laughs> More so than normal. We should do a duet. I love to do a duet. I love a duet. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, anyway... S is probably like, what you going to play? <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be really weird because normally, obviously, I'm standing in front of an actual band playing, like, you know, loud. But this time I'm going to sing to a, the backing track. Which you made. Which I made and produced, so I think that's fine. This is going to be Goldilocks. In fact, you made and produced all your own backing tracks. I did make and produce all my own backing Clearly. tracks. Are you ready? Yes, this is Goldilocks. <laughs> T-shirt. I remember Hattie. Well, she has asked if you can make this a weekly thing. Yes. 
No. Yes, maybe. I can. I can just keep playing my back catalogue into infinity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's cool. why it's quite good because I've never actually got to like play these songs live because I don't tend to cross over my solo stuff too much with the Chevy Chase stuff. So these are all like, there's lots of songs out there. Well, not out there, in there, in True. my computer. So yes, okay, weekly thing, agreed. <laughs> Terry will be very happy. Yes, great. Okay. <clears throat> That's, that's, a great, any... that's a great tune, by the way, Gorgeous Locks. When did you write that? You know, I wrote that when I was about 19. Oh. But it didn't used to be swung. So that version was like swung. Yeah. And the original version was straight. Mm. So when we changed it from straight to swung, Neil Burton called it Shanty Locks. We did try doing it in Chevy Chase, but Stu didn't like it. Mm. <laughs> Hi, <And> Stu. <laughs> you, know, you know how the... Uh, the uh, uh, the audio stopped the first time when you started mm. singing it. Well, Stewie very cleverly came up with Goldie Stops. <laughs> Goldie Stops! <laughs> Full start. Okay. So, if there's no further questions <laughs> from the room. <laughs> <laughs> from the room. Um, this is now. This is a very old song as well because I've really been churning them up. Um, <coughs> it's called Phone. And I'm writing a song that goes with phone at the moment. So my songs tend to go together as like groups or pairs of songs. So I'm writing a new one. So this one is very, very old. Uh, Just before you do that. Yeah. I have a great question. Oh, okay. From uh, Becky Eve. Hi, Becky. If you could play alongside any artist band, who would it be? Maybe like Fleetwood Mac. Or Stevie Nicks. Mm. But she'd outshine me. No, she wouldn't. We'd be just as good. <laughs> good use of words, Emma. Maybe Stevie Nicks, or maybe, um, uh, well, people that know me know I'm a big fan of Robin Hitchcock. So, it's true. that would be cool. Or Mia Follick. If you haven't heard Mia Follick, go on to your Spotify after this. <laughs> and um, look up Mia Follick. She's magical, pop, amazing, genius. And I met her at a gig and wish I bought a t-shirt. She was just standing there selling t-shirts. She was stood there selling t-shirts at this gig. And then when I got home, I was like, oh my God. I spoke to Mia Follick and no one was buying her t-shirts because it was a sunflower bean gig. And now I'm like, why didn't I just buy a t-shirt? Oh, regrets. <laughs> First world problems. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hmm? Next song. Song time, song time now. Okay, so this is phone. Uh, also, just a little congratulations to Emily, who just got her top fan badge uh, for uh, Emma Howard Music. Yay, top fan. Hi, top fan. Sweet. <laughs> okay, go. this is phone. If I answer the phone, if I reply to your text, I want to speak to you If you read my mind Just as well as you think I would lie to you Am I sorry? Am I sorry that you love me And I didn't know No, it's better this way Leave me, baby, go I'm a narcissist I'm a sadist I'm agnostic Apathetic Apathetic You were away. I thought you were brave. If you thought I was the one, well, it didn't 
last long you had it well five years on I'm a sorry I'm a sorry that you love me and I didn't know no it's better this way leave me baby go I'm a I'm a sad I'm agnostic Apathetic Apathetic I'm a narcissist I'm a sad I'm agnostic Apathetic if I held out a hand, said hold on, time is all, nothing will come back. If I saw you in the street, you'd sit down, but you're lonely. It's alright, it's right, never look for me In history for one day, together we were Thank you very much. That was Bone. That was its first ever outing to people ever. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we have a couple of questions. Okay. Um, a lovely neighbour next door, Esther. Esther. <laughs> that's, that's how we always say Esther. Esther. Uh, how many songs have you written? Serious question. <clears throat> well, um, about eight years ago, I tried to count how many songs I'd written. And I tried to catalogue them. And at that point, I'd written, or I'd got a record of about 360 songs. Um, however, I did have one laptop stolen that was had about 40 songs on it when I was about 20. And since then, I've probably written... Mm, 60-ish? Mm. So, it's, it's somewhere around 500 songs, I think. Probably. Hmm. That's a lot, Thank by the you. way. That is a lot of songs. That's a lot of songs. I write a lot of songs. <laughs> it's my superpower. Uh, <laughs> and that was Becky Eves of Fave so far. Oh, this thank you. Nice. Uh, fine. Um, um, also, another question from yes. uh, Emily. And which is your favourite to perform? Ooh, that's a really hard question. Well, from the ones that I've done this evening, I most enjoyed singing Projection and Phone. But it varies. New stuff, I like to play new things. So whatever's new and fresh. Well, there's these, these aren't new and fresh, but they're new to the world. They're not new to me. But they're also new to you performing them. Yeah, they are. Mm. So, you know, I would probably have not have done this if we weren't all locked indoors. I'm not going to dwell too much on why we're all locked indoors, because this is escapism. Well, you're not even indoors. I'm in a field of wheat. <laughs> you are in a field of wheat. <laughs> Summer, I'm in a festival in a field of wheat. Uh, we just we just painted this uh, moving uh, field of wheat behind Emma uh, the other day, so yeah. just for the broadcast. Yeah, especially. Cool. Well, uh, that was my last song. So. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, well done. Uh, Stream Mysterio asks, what is the most refreshing flavour of lava lamp? Oh, purple. <laughs> chugging a lava lamp. Chugging a lava lamp. I do like chugging a lava lamp. Uh, purple. Purple with green blobs. Because then you've got the purpleness and you've got the, the tanginess of the green blobs. Mm. <laughs> and Joe Burton has said, uh, and how many books have you written? If you've written that many songs, how many books have you written? Uh, I wrote one, well, I wrote a trilogy of books when I was a teenager, which was ridiculously long, called The Journey. It was very dramatic and um, angst-ridden. And then I wrote what I call my rubbish novel, which is called The Man in the Blue Jumper. Um, and then at the moment I'm working on a novel called After the End of the World. So that's five. <laughs> and it's nearly completed? nearly completed yes with the help of Lisa Sullivan and Pete Adams it will soon be but that's not completely true because you're also working on a children's book oh yeah I'm also working on a children's book called Willow and the Spider Webbing Mm, (laughs) that's an animated book it is and uh, the very important Lou Bolton hi Lou hi Lou what's up Uh, wants to know what is the most ideal chip length oh chip length you know, you mean like chips from the chip shop? Well, I, I, I guess that's what he means. I'm not sure they're silicon. Well, I was going to say, ram? Ram chips? No, no, no. No? Fish and chip. Okay. Chips. Not big, long ones, because they always end up hard in the middle. So little ones, like when they're just like a bit crunchy, but a bit oily. But also they still have potato inside. It's the length he wants to know. The length? Okay. Big, long, short, small? Small. I prefer a small chip. And that, that also answers uh, uh, Lou's Bolton comment uh, on the live stream in the first place. Small, she says. Small. Um, and Paul Maddie Heaton, uh, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Yes. Anything on pizza, apart from uh, anything fish. Fish. I eat fish. <laughs> mm. Anything else is fine. And the very beautiful Stu Lee wants to know, are you taking song requests? Hmm, depends what it is. <laughs> depends if I know the chords. What is the song request? Uh, I'm not sure. He hasn't mentioned one yet. I'm sure it will come up when they catch up with us. Okay. Well, I'm just going to sit here and, like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Lou is laughing at that comment. Right. Okay. Uh, do you have any more songs for us? No. Not point. today. Not, not today. That was my first live stream ever. Um, if you liked what you heard, I would really appreciate it if you go onto Spotify and follow me on Spotify to get my followers up and so that you will be able to hear my songs in the future. I nearly completed an EP which was supposed to be released on the 5th of April. However, that's not going to be happening now for numerous reasons. Um, but it will be out as soon as we're all out. Mm. Uh, okay, Stu has actually come back with a song request. Yeah. If if you can do it, I don't think I've ever heard you do it, just a guitar and vocal. Okay. Likely story? I can try. Shall I try? Why not? Why, why not try? I'm going to try. This might ruin everything. Oh, well. i just got to move my giant sleeve. Hang Your on. Your wizard sleeve? <gasps> just my big sleeve. That doesn't that doesn't ruin my aesthetic at all. <laughs> okay. What's the first line of story? I've forgotten. Oh, it's A. I should have known most of my songs were A. <laughs> They're not really. I just like it. I'm gonna try it. If I get stuck, I'm gonna stop. This is for Stu Lee. The excellent Julie, who has contributed bass lines to my I'll Do My Instance and made it. Which you will be seeing uh, at the end of this. We are going to play I Will Do My Own Stunts video. video after this. So if you haven't seen it yet. Okay. This is off the cuff. I like the story. <laughs> wouldn't believe me if I started to tell you you wouldn't believe me. I haven't found a place I feel at home in my whole life If I could talk to you If I could talk to you We'd be heading in the right 
right direction What you're doing tonight Who you having fun with Shake up an argument And shout all about it In the heat of the moment What's that is born to me Feeling hopelessly lost just like me When those seconds shed are just like heaven I don't think these are games we're playing So, so, is that the end of our time? That's the end of everything, and now it's time for dinner. So, uh, everyone, have a lovely evening. Stay safe. Stay in your houses if you can. Look after each other. She says the woman in the field. <sighs> We've been through this. <laughs> it's an imaginary field. <laughs> Imagine yourself in a field of wheat. Ooh, just had another request. Sheila's glass. Um, I can try it. Mm, you can try it. I can try it. This is a rock song. This is a rock song. <laughs> but but this is a Chevy Chase stole my wife song. This is a Chevy Chase stole my wife song. Um, but I can try it. Who requested that? Uh, Emily. I was gonna say it was Emily. Yeah. And Stu says thank you for the last one. Okay, Stu, you're very welcome. Okay. This is how Sheila's class. This is one of my more recent songs. Front of bangs and a feather fringe. House Sheila's class. Work harder, have more things. House Sheila's class. Things you never noticed you lost are the things that you won't buy. Take a look around and tell me how Sheila's class. more now than I knew at 21 I do know what I don't want and I'm learning to have fun never forget what you told me you wanted when we were smashed you must keep yourself that promise in the door there Oh, she loves, oh, she loves.
ass and spilling all the tea into somebody's lap. Take a look around and tell me how she looks glad. you enjoyed it thank you everyone for watching maybe i'll do another one soon maybe thank you terry for doing it Yay. Yay. thank you <laughs> thank you for setting it all up it's very good isn't he very clever yeah. and handsome all right so that's it stay safe everyone stay safe everyone take care See and you soon. this is emma's i'll do my own stunts video bye I've spent three years talking to myself I'm gonna try and change this situation into something real Cause I feel like an actor talking to myself Believe in me, must grow marionette when I leap from buildings, land intact, and no one even knows. Will you watch me tumble and love it? I'll do my own stuff. Will you watch me tumble and love it? She the second you stepped off that bus Like the jacket, who cares what's inside I'll eat you up on the commute home Lonely or lonesome, no Drive it alone Lonely or lonesome, no I drive it
judge a book by its cover Sound on an adventure when it's time to come back They're screaming out loud, got a cut at all tracks Aren't we all just time traveling bastards? Look out behind me and fall up by a statue I'll be your bitch like, will you be my hat right? Start the adventure, no time to look back Was it all worth it? Was it all fun? I don't know yet. 